There is a whole bunch of chefs, restaurants, hundreds of them, thousands of people that they believe they can be joining the fight. But this time, the fight is through food. Day two, I had positions in every border. Find the kitchens, and you'll find somebody in the kitchen that wants to join the simple idea of feeding others. Chefs are built to be in battle every single night. The restaurant is doing 50 meals, you empower them to do 500. All of a sudden, we create this amazing army of goodness, reaching almost 300,000 meals a day. The World Central Kitchen's work in Ukraine is focused on three main areas. The first is refugees. We began on the outside borders of Ukraine, Romania, Moldova, Hungary, Slovakia. In Poland, we have an amazing team that's cooking out of our own kitchen. This is their home, it's all they know, so it's terrifying to have to leave the country, go to where you don't know the language. Second, we've activated more than 350 kitchens in Ukraine across 100 cities and towns to get food to Ukrainians that remain in places that don't have access to food. Many people are scared. They're remaining in their homes. They're in basements. We bring in hot meals so that people who haven't had access to food in weeks have something to eat right away. And we're also building grocery kits that feed a family for three to four days. As Russian troops have left certain areas in the north, we're really focusing our efforts on bringing food to those extremely hard hit areas as soon as they are safe to do so. Roads are not safe because of mines. There's no grocery stores, of course, so they have no access to anything. Third, World Central Kitchen is transporting food all across Ukraine via truck, via train, millions of pounds of food. And this food is going directly into the communities that can cook for themselves. We have warehouses all over Ukraine stockpiling goods in different areas. So depending on the direction the war may take, we have something that can get to different areas. One humble plate of food at a time is taking care of the elderly, to the children, the women, the hungry, people in the bunkers, people in the bus station, in the train stations, people waiting in the border for days at a time. Channeling every dollar all across a regional local economy and in the process lifting up people. Longer tables, no throwing bombs. All of a sudden food becomes hope. We're going to win because nobody's going to be breaking our spirits. <laughs>